It's problem uh, John Fury. It's bad behavior. It's my opinion. Bad. Bad behavior. Yeah. Has he? I just disclosed to Alexander Rusik. Tyson Fury's primary weakness is the amazing retort his father, John Fury, the Gypsy King, gave Rusik. Nervous. Shake it. Terrified. Even at this stage, would you ever concede that you do have nerves, even if nerves no, are absolutely a good thing? Absolutely bricking it. Look here. I can barely stand. The mind games between both teams have begun, and we have a lot of drama unfolding before the fight. But what if Fury and Usyk say about each other? Stick around and watch as we find out in this video. As soon as both Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk touched down in Riyadh, both boxers began with their mind games. So far, Usyk has stayed away from commenting about the Gypsy King and has stressed that he intends to focus on his fight. However, after John Fury's latest antics, where he headbutted a team member from Usyk camp, Alexander couldn't resist as he made a shocking statement during an interview of calm and composed Usyk emphasized the importance of good conduct and the impact of negative actions, highlighting the outrageous incident involving John Fury describing the event as stemming from John Fury's bad behavior. Music urged his team to avoid confrontation and step back, emphasizing peace and focusing on the upcoming fight. Music said that his squad shouldn't focus on the matter when asked if John Fury has apologized. Must uh, think uh, before think what after. Uh, uh, will be. Recalling the impending battle, Usyk spoke of his great sense of destiny and confidence stemming from his religion. He discussed how, in his opinion, performance and thinking well might have an impact on outcomes. Usyk, whose views are influenced by his karma-loving religious beliefs, aspires to be the undisputed heavyweight champion. The interview catches his thoughts in getting ready for this crucial battle. Usyk wants to clear his head of all negative and approach the long-awaited fight with clarity and excitement. The Gypsy King also answered Usyk's comments in a customarily clever and rebellious response. In an interview with Sky Sports Boxing, Tyson Fury appeared jovial and sarcastic about the upcoming uncontested heavyweight championship fight. The outgoing and theatrical Fury confronted his fear head-on, jerking that he was nervous, shivering, and scared during the interview. Fury said his gaudy waistcoat held windows into my life and symbolized his boxing career and persona. The challenge of competing in Saudi Arabia and how to get over it by adjusting to the local time zones and weather were also discussed. Ironically, rage reduced any impact on his readiness or mental state. The journalist asked Fury how he responded to the yelling of the grand rival's crowd and suggested that the Usyk group might be trying to scare or intimidate him in a typical Fury way. Fury said there would only be two fighters in the ring, therefore he would overlook these attempts. Reiterating his mastery in the game, he made fun of his fear of it and discounted any real concern about chance or psychological tactics. Fury also addressed how to deal with his sleep issues and adjust his schedule to be prepared for combat, but he refrained from sharing details of his training regimen and daily routine, emphasizing privacy and perhaps a deliberate withholding of information as part of his psychological warfare. Fury confidently anticipated his win and said without a doubt at the end of the conversation that he had no reservations about defeating Usyk. With his charming appeal, he begged the audience and his followers to witness the fight. I'm gonna win the fight on Saturday night, for sure. I have no, an there's, no, there's no doubt in my mind um, that I'm not gonna win 100% in my mind, I'm gonna be. The way Fury approaches the psychological and mental aspects of boxing, maintaining his public persona as a tough and funny guy while overcoming challenges and refuting assertions with wit and bravado, is captured in this interview. Another worry for the boxing world is predicting this match. But where they're both super, super smart, as in uh, pedigree and cuteness, that is uh, it's a good fight, but I'll, I'll back Tyson all the way. He's just too big. Yeah. Heavyweight boxer Mark Tibbs predicted the fight boldly in an interview with Boxing Social. Throughout their talk, Tibbs acknowledged the top positions of both fighters and praised them both for their remarkable skills and deft fighting strategies but his prediction mostly depended on Tyson Fury's physical advantages and strategic acumen. Tibbs remarked that Fury seemed stronger, more physically fit, and ready for the fight. He made comparisons to prior fights in which Fury had dropped weight and was less powerful. Tibbs stressed that Fury's size and strength, together with his boxing acumen, make him a difficult opponent for Osik. Being at ease enough to predict a knockout, Tibbs stated he believed Fury could stop Osik in the fight. This prediction reveals his evaluation of Fury's abilities and the strategic mismatch between the two stars. Luigi Lapp and former training partner Oleksandr Rusik 
gushed about Usyk's predictions and observations in an interview with pro boxing fans. Penn emphasized his great respect and love for Usyk, as well as his privilege of being at his training camp. He described the occasion as being both a tremendous honor and highly inspirational. He predicted Usyk to win the fight as well. TKO, Alexander Usyk TKO, 9 rounds, maybe 10. Daniel, thank you very much. Good luck on Saturday and I will speak to you soon. Thank you. In the mechanics of the struggle, Usyk would stop Fury and, in the next round, Lappin was positive of it. He dismissed these concerns, a topic that boxing fans had been discussing in the days before the fight showing confidence in Usyk's ability to go past any challenges Fury might provide in this area. Lappin paints a picture of a mentally tough and well-trained Usyk ready to face and maybe defeat one of the hardest opponents in the heavyweight class. His predictions and analysis reflect not just his personal training experiences with Usyk, but also his belief that Usyk has the ability and strategy to outsmart Fury in this pivotal fight. Concerning the sensitivity of body shots, the legendary boxer from the UK Lennox Lewis offered a thought-provoking perspective. Lewis had earlier predicted a tough fight for the Ukrainians and had supported the Gypsy King to win, but he has just disclosed some fresh details regarding the matchup. Lewis brought out Udusik's vulnerability to body blows in his most recent interview with Box Nation. His assessment was predicated on Usyk's reactions to body punches in prior interactions, indicating that Usyk appeared to feel the impact, thereby suggesting a potential weakness. Lewis also offered some tactical advice in case he were teaching Tyson Fury. Fury should, he suggested, work to control the middle of the ring, use his jab effectively, and keep Usyk against the ropes. Keeping a gap and keeping Usyk on the outside, Fury might take use of his stature. Lewis stressed the significance of movement to manage Usyk and counsel Fury to keep Usyk moving, which might eventually wear it out. I would, for my part, defeat Usyk by, you know, throwing him up against the ropes. Keep him outside, work my jab, take the ring center, and never stop moving. Promoter of Tyson Fury Frank Warren confidently said in his most recent interview that Fury would defeat Alexander Usyk by knockout. Warren claimed the stakes in the level of the fight had him eagerly anticipating the fight. Because of the extra training time brought on by earlier postponements, Fury claimed he was in great physical and mental shape coming into the fight. Warren noted that, Despite his less-than-impressive performance against Francis Ngannou, Fury has historically risen to the challenge against formidable opponents like Deontay Wilder and Vladimir Klitschko. Warren sees the fight tactically as Fury having to take the lead early on by taking the middle of the ring and overwhelming Urusik with his size and skill. He is a huge guy minus 668-69, but he is also really fast, a strong puncher, has great reflexes, and has a great chin. He would have given all these folks enough to think about and beaten a lot of them. Boxing is definitely an odd sport since people typically evaluate his sport according to its most recent performance. Then it was Oleksandr Usk's performance versus Daniel Dyes, when fans saw the shot that was deemed low. With this man, Tyson Fury was undoubtedly sweeping the floor after that fight, and later Oleksandr Usk was doing the same. After that fight, Tyson Fury was sweeping this guy, and I know you'll have your thoughts on it and everything. It's all very spicy, but the fighters, their trainers, and their camps will be looking for holes in each other's armor. While they might come across some, Tyson hasn't yet adequately taken use of them. Look, he was knocked unconscious, then he got up. He got up and turned to win the round as well. I just believe Tyson will be too much on the night. You can definitely look at his past performance. James, as much as I would like to talk about the fight all day, I don't want to keep you here. It just intrigues me. I'm really interested to watch how the first few rounds develop because I think he need to be involved at some point, and then we could just see them fighting. T.I. may be shredding the body anything. Do you know how you see this fight turning out on Saturday night? Yes, I believe that Tyson has to go and win the fight. He has to take the middle of the ring and dominate him. He has to be the governor and the boss. As for me, we've seen Anthony Joshua's jetted in. Moses was out here in town. He apparently trains with Ben Davidson as well. That would be evident. Warren anticipated a very tight fight, but Fury ultimately pulls off a mid-bout stoppage by executing his plan well. Warren thinks Fury can unify the titles to establish himself as one of the top heavyweights since he has unrivaled abilities in the division. Although Tyson Fury is favored by the experts, both boxers appear enthusiastic about the match. What though do you believe will happen? Will John Fury's axe haunt the Gypsy King after the battle? Tell us in the area staff for comments. Here for now it ends. Remind yourself to subscribe and like the channel. 
Press the bell to receive the most recent updates so you never miss out on videos like these. We hope to see you in the next one, and thank you for watching.